All right, this is a video about uh, being an entrepreneur uh, and what does that mean? That means somebody who is, uh, well, the word itself, entrepreneur, uh, has two parts. There's, uh, there's the enter part and the preneur part. And it comes from French uh, and maybe some other earlier languages. It means to, to, uh, to start and to <clears throat> engage in an action and to basically to enter. Um, you know, sort of from like a causative uh, point of view or aspect. And the other part, preneur, means to take in French. So it's to enter into something and to take really what's yours or, uh, you know, or to cause something to exist, um, you know, such as a business or anything like that. So um, there's a lot of things you could say about being an entrepreneur, but uh, just in this video, I'm just going to talk about two things, which is uh, mainly when you're making mistakes, um, or you're trying to grow is, is what you're trying to do as an entrepreneur, and, you know, kind of put a stake in the ground and uh, grow your business and find customers and hopefully do a good job for them and be good at what you do and good at handling customers. I think those are, those are the two aspects of being an entrepreneur. And I think, you know, whatever your craft is or whatever your skill is, you should be really good at it and you should practice and try to study, you know, what exists out there as far as the skills and the actually how do you do, you know, whatever task it is that you're taking on. And you should try to become very skilled at it. You should try to become good at it. And But there's always another second part of that, which is handling people. And you could be, for example, very good at uh, being, uh, uh, a, I don't know, a mechanic, for example. You could be a great mechanic, really good at handling physical things like cars and engines and all that. But there's another aspect to being an entrepreneur, which is handling people. And this, this part is, is sort of trickier because you can't really treat a person like a thing. So you can be really good at handling things, uh, but maybe not so good at handling people. But I think a good entrepreneur is good at both. And so what does it mean to handle people? Uh, means that you can understand them and they can feel uh, that they're understood. And hopefully you can provide what it is that they want and communicate uh, good enough so that at the end of the job, whatever it is you're doing, uh, they feel happy about it. Um, so I think those are the two ways you could break it, break it down. Um, but some other thoughts I had about it is, um, that let's say you're trying to grow and you have a company or a business and you're selling lemonade or whatever you're doing, uh, you're going to make mistakes along the way, and so you want to minimize those mistakes as much as you can. Don't really be too worried about making some mistakes, or but you want to minimize them and keep them as minimum as possible uh, along the lines of, uh, you know, handling the materials. You know, you don't want to make a batch of lemonade, for example. If you're selling lemonade, you don't want to make a batch of lemonade that's too sour. That would be uh, a mistake in terms of your materials, but also you might... Uh, for example, someone comes up and, and then there's mistakes you can make uh, with people. So someone comes up and tries to buy, uh, you know, your lemonade and uh, maybe they don't like the price and uh, you, instead of being polite, you say something rude, you know, uh, showing that you don't really understand what they're trying to t say to you or, you know, something like that. That could be a mistake. But these could be minimum. You could minimize these mistakes and that's a big part of keeping uh, keep being able to grow and not getting discouraged uh, is to minimize these mistakes but absolutely uh, you know when a mistake is made um, try to admit it and try to think about um, a way that you could prevent that mistake from uh, happening again or from being quite as severe and I think as you if you want to uh, to take on and be an entrepreneur, uh, when you, you have to be really honest about when a mistake is made. And I think breaking it down into those two parts, was this a mistake in my procedure or my materials or, or uh, was this a, a mistake in handling people? 
uh, you can you can easily categorize it and you can isolate it that way. So by breaking it down into uh, uh, you know the actual tasks and the materials of your job, uh, you can correct things there and minimize mistakes there. Or but that's different than correcting mistakes with actual people, clients, also with your with your staffs. Uh, people that work for you, um, that kind of stuff. So, for example, you might try to be more cheerful uh, with your staffs or, you know, something like that. Maybe that'll get you a better result. So you might correct something in terms of how you deal with people. But uh, they're, they're definitely two different aspects of being an entrepreneur. Okay, well, thank you very much.